All right, guys, here we go. We have another 33 minute heavy bag hit workout coming up. We're going to be hitting some speed on this one. And first up in round number one, your one minute piece, you're hitting up a one, one, two, three, one minute as fast as you can. I want you to work hand speed, a little bit of movement, and let's go. Ready? Go. One, one, two, three, as fast as you can. Small movements between every combination. One, one, two, three, non-stop. You can see the rep counter on the left-hand side. I want you to always try to get the same number as me in each set. Make sure you breathe with every punch you throw. Stay controlled. I want some footwork in this session. 30 seconds to go. And round number one, we're doing three sets each. You're already up to 30 reps of the one, one, two, three. 15 seconds. Keep pushing, guys. Remember, I want you to breathe on these. I want you to really let those hands go. Stay relaxed, but effective. With this speed, heavy bag hit. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Now, your 30-second set, moderate, or your easy piece is just slipping side to side, obviously. Get your slipping in there, hands up, move around a little bit. You're imagining your opponent or your coach throwing punches at you. You're just moving around those punches calmly and then getting a little bit of footwork in. Remember, these are only 30 second sets for your moderate work, but we want you to continue to move. Remember, this session is about speed and control. We're still on round number one. You're working your second set of the one, one, two, three. One minute, go. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Again, get the same number of reps you hit up in that first round. We're in that first set. I want you to stay with me. I want you to outwork me always. I want you to work on speed. I want your breathing strong. Stay balanced, stay controlled, and let the hands fly. 30 seconds. Keep moving side to side when you're throwing these combos. You can move inside, outside, left to right, right to left. You can throw a couple in place, but make sure you think about movement as well as, as throwing those hands. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Nice work, crew. You know what to do now. 30 seconds of slipping. You can throw some parries in there if you want. You can throw a little bit of ducking. It's all good. Just go easy. Think defense. Think control. It's all you. You have two rounds down already. One thing you want to always do is imagine, you know, imagine yourself in a scenario where they're slipping punches, so see the punches coming at you, even though it's a heavy bag. Think about some punches coming at you, how you would relax. I use the hashtag slip and counter a lot, working through adversity and coming back stronger. That's what we do. One, one, two, three. Here's your third and final set of round number one. Maximum. Let's go. Come on. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. It feels good when you feel the flow. So let the hands go. Oh, that sounded good. Come on, guys. Keep working. Don't give in to fatigue. Keep your hands relaxed. Close on impact. You're working on speed. Think those muscle fibers are firing fast. You're too good to slow down. You've been doing heavy bag hits for a long time you know what it takes less than 30 seconds and you always get it done I know you know what I'm saying 15 seconds there's your rep count we're over 40 reps of that combination come on guys 10 seconds you're not slowing down on me stay relaxed when you get tired you're working on speed 3 2 1 beautiful last one of this set is again slipping 30 seconds work it 
Go get it. You just want to stay controlled on this. You're, this is your active recovery. Think of an active recovery and you're getting ready to hit up the next round. We still have work to do and you'll always get it done. And round number two, you're working the two two, so the cross to the head, across to the body. We're hitting that up for one minute. Get ready to go, guys. I want a strong rotational double right hand and we're hitting that up for one minute. Three two one let's go max right hand right hand right hand right hand now yes this is an untraditional right combination of two two but it doesn't mean it can't be effective personally i think it's underutilized because most people don't expect the right hand to come out twice without something to set it up but stay calm rotate keep moving and throw that double right hand. You're going to work on some endurance, some speed, and power with this one. Different levels. You're still badass with that cross. Come on, 30 seconds. Again, it can be the right hand to the head, right hand to the body. It's all good. You got to figure it out. What works best for you. You can change it up. You don't have to do exactly what I do. Cross body or cross head. Both work. Good job, guys. And round number two. Cover. Left hook. Right hand. Nice and easy. 30 seconds. So again, you're blocking some shots coming in. And then you counter with an easy left hook. Right hand. You're showing them a nice light combination before you attack again with that double right hand move around cover it up with that three and two counter shot right after come on 10 seconds here we go still in round number two you're working set number two double right hand one minute get ready to go guys crush this let's go again you can use variety change your levels body head head body and it's all good to do that but i still want you to think about speed how fast can you pull that right hand back after going through the target do not pull the right hand back until you go through the target don't touch it go through it and then pull it back fast and get set up with that little right shoulder pull back to rip that right hand a second time. Less than 30. Different levels with that right hand. You're still fast, you're still effective, you're not tired yet. Even though you're working max, you are not tired. Your right hand is fluid. Your balance is strong, you're breathing on every punch and moving after each combination. Three, two, one, beautiful. Again, 30 seconds easy, cover, three, two. Have some fun with this one. Make sure when you cover, you can still see your target. You wanna think about holding your hands up in position where nothing can get through, but you can still throw. You can still see your target, right? You're just simply covering shots and then countering lightly with that left hook, right hand. That left hook can go to the body. It's all good. Let's go. Come on. Last one. Two, two, one minute. Show me your best round yet. Let's go. This is your best round yet. Fast. Precise, your money, come on guys. Breathe on every combo. Give me 30 seconds.
lightning fast when you throw it. And I want you to go through the heavy bag, pull that hand back, and get set up to throw it a second time. Come on, guys. Over 35 double right hands. Well done. All right, cover it up. Three, two, 30 seconds. And while you're in this round, again, now you're preparing for the next one coming up. So yeah, you're throwing your cover, three, two, but there's preparation, mental preparation about going through another hard round coming up. So you're recovering, but you're still focused on what you gotta do for the next round. That's important because you never let up, right? You only calm down, you only ease into a little bit of relaxation, ease into a little bit of recovery, but you don't let up, all right? All right, round number three, you're gonna push the heavy bag and then throw one twos. I want 10, eight, six, four, four, six, eight, 10 for one minute. 10 one twos, eight one twos, six one twos, four one twos, four one twos, six one twos, eight one twos, 10 one twos. All right, as fast as you can, go. Push, let your hands go. 10, push, let your hands go. Eight, push, let your hands go. Four, and then push, let your hands go four more, and then go back up to 10. Come on, guys. But at the end of the day, this is all you. Come on, 30 seconds. How many sets can you get in this round? Come on. Don't slow down. Breathe every time you punch. Hands are relaxed, but deadly. This is straight madness. Come on, guys. 15 seconds. You got it. Come on, less than 10. Keep it up. Don't slow down, guys. Boom, just like that. Now here, we're gonna work the shoulders again. Push the bag and move. Again, you're creating space between you and your opponent. Just push and move. I want you to keep your shoulders flexed the whole time. Keep your shoulders tight when you push that heavy bag. Flex your delts. Stay balanced. I want you to tire out your shoulders a little bit so we can get you to work those one twos with a little bit of fatigue or a little more fatigue in your arms because that's how badass you are. You can still get it done. Ready? You know the deal. 10, 8, 6, 4, 4, 6, 8, 10, go. 10 first, go. 10, 8, 6, 4, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Now keep it going. Come on, guys. Don't hold back. Instead, test your max ability to get shit done. Three, two, one. Beautiful, you know what to do. Push the heavy bag and move. 30 seconds. You can move as much as you want. You can push as hard as you want as long as you have control. Don't be pushing the heavy bag through your wall. So if two of you are working the heavy bag together, you can push back and forth with each other. Common sense stuff, but you know that. Three, two, one, ten, eight, six, four, four, six, eight, ten. Come on. Inside or outside, you choose and go to work. Come on, guys. I want to hear fast hands on the heavy bag. I want to feel energy 
on a heavy bag. You should be dripping sweat, right? You should be talking to yourself on an alter ego to get you through this. How many sets can you complete? That's what it's all about. It's not about how many sets I completed. That's why the reps aren't up there. It's all about you now. Come on, faster hands, don't slow down, breathe, relax your shoulders, put in work. Rest, nice guys, we're rolling now. Push the bag and move, 30 seconds. Now as you get halfway through, you know, close to halfway through your workout, everything you do from this point takes you closer and closer to the end, so I obviously you want you guys to think about if you've given it a hundred percent effort to this point if you haven't you now have just as much time to make it up all right now on round number four you're going to move and throw two punch combos whatever you want move around the bag and work two punch combos you can work inside or outside but first let's work outside move around the heavy bag and throw me fast Two punch combos, one to eight. Let's go. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, Should sound like that. Pop, pop. Right? Fast, two punch combos. So you thought you were tired, but you can manage. You might have thought you were broken down, but you're still good. Come on. 30 seconds. You're in the gym. People want to know you still have what it takes. You're impressing your coach right now with your stamina. You're impressing your family right now with your will. If you're training with your kids, show them how much effort you're willing to put in, put in to inspire them to work with you. That's what this channel is all about, guys. Come on motivation the belief in getting shit done you know that come on three two one in between sets just move and rip whatever you want same as your last round move throw some combos move around again you're not tired your energy is good so let's get it done move and rip Three seconds. All right, guys, come on, let's do this. Moving, two punch combos. One minute, show me your speed. Let your hands go, go get it. You can see the reps are here for this workout or for this round. I want you to hit more reps than I'm hitting. Keep going, guys, come on. Stop slowing down. I told you, you can do this. I want faster hands. I'm, if I can feel your hands getting slow, I'm attacking harder. So don't let me attack harder. Do not show that your hands are slowing down. Use your legs more when you're tired. Use your abs more when you're tired. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. Your legs and core will help get you there. You mix that with strong mental toughness, you'll always finish these with fast hands, guys. Come on. Three, two, one. Move and rip, 30 seconds. You know what to do. It's easy work. It's easy work. Sometimes just doing heavy big workouts where you're just moving and letting your hands go for a nice endurance based workout for 10 to 12 rounds. It feels amazing too. You get to work on a lot of asymmetries. 
Again, just letting some energy out in a controlled pace and getting a good sweat. So every once in a while, get one of those in too. 10 two minute rounds of easy work, right? Let's go guys, last one. Moving, two punch combos, fast hands. Last one, show me what you got in the tank. Let's go. If the world was watching you, how would you perform right now? If you were bringing somebody in to train with you, how would you perform right now? If you're working with a trainer, how would you perform right now? You had a hard day at work, how would you perform right now to feel better? Think about it. Then you put that into your intent and that changes your game. That changes your focus, so come on. Find a reason, even if it's just fun, you can challenge yourself with some fun, with pushing the limits a little bit, with relaxed, controlled speed in these two punch combos. Nicely done, beautiful. We are getting there. Move and rip. I'll let you guys do this one your own. You don't need me for this one. Move and rip. Let your hands go, stay relaxed, and put in some work. This is all you. You don't need me for this round. Do your thing. Round number five. Three punch combo and then a defensive movement at the end of that. So it's punch, defend, punch, defend. Three punch combos and then defend. Slip, blocking, ducking, whatever you want, but I still want fast hands. Come on guys, put it in. Three punches with a defensive movement at the end. Slip, duck, block, parry, whatever you want. All speed, get some movement in there with some defensive movements. With your feet, so obviously I want some footwork in there. Doesn't have to be crazy movement, just enough to move around a little bit to change position. 30 seconds. Rip, defense. Three punch combo, defense. You're too good to get touched after those three punches. And time, beautiful work guys. And then again, 30 second piece, the easy work is just a right hand and a right uppercut. Across, right uppercut, go get it. That's a two six, same side movement. I personally love that 2-6 because it catches a lot of people off guard. It feels nice on the hand pads when you throw that 2-6. Let's go, three punch combos and defense, one minute. Put some work in here guys, come on. Three punch combos, defensive movement, let's go. Come on, can be a double jab, cross, a two, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, five, six, two, three body, four body, one, four body, six, one, one, two body, two body, three, two, mix it up. One, five, two body. There's so many combos you can throw. Try and be creative. Make sure they make sense. 10 seconds. You can see you're working close to 50 combinations thrown. 
Nicely done, guys. Again, that 30 second piece, I want a 2-6, that right hand, right uppercut. It's easy, but it still work, right? It still work. Again, as you guys get through these workouts, you realize that, you know, you probably don't even realize a lot of the times how your stamina is increasing. And all of a sudden, one day you're like, wow, I can't believe I actually got through that easier. Because you're putting in work and you're actually progressing all the time through these videos. Round number five, last one, three punch combos, defense, one minute. I'm gonna let you guys work. Again, your coach is watching you, your trainer's watching you, you're having some fun, you're with your friends, you're with your fam. Show them how hard you work and how fast you are. It's all about you. It's all about what you can do, what you can accomplish. In 45 seconds, let me see it. Go to work. Don't slow down. Don't slow down, guys. Come on, be creative with your combinations. Don't use the same ones over and over. Change up that lead hand, body, head, head, body. You gotta mix it up. Five seconds. Nice work, crew. Oh man, we're rolling. Again, two six, right hand, right uppercut. Easy work. You know what to do here, guys, when you're finishing your last piece of these rounds. Focus on your next round coming up while you're still putting in work. Because you know we still have stuff to do. But always amp yourself up for round number six, which is your conditioning. What we're doing for your condition is I want you to get your mind right and get ready for this one. You're going to hop forward, hop back, hop forward and hit the heavy bag with four shots. The heavy bag is going to move a little bit. I want you guys to stay low the entire time. It looks like this. Hop, 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 hop. Let your hands go. Hop, 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 hop. Let your hands go. Are you ready? Three minutes straight. Go. You know how we finish strong with these workouts. You know what it takes to get through these. Stay low. Do not stand all the way up. If you have to wait for the heavy bag to come back to you, wait for it. If you're shadow boxing this workout, you can do it through shadow boxing. You'll still feel it, trust me. Strong core, strong quads, relaxed shoulders. This will challenge anyone. I don't care how fit you are. It doesn't matter. You're gonna feel this, but you're up for it. This is how you finish strong with your workouts. You eliminate regrets by pushing all the way through and not stopping. All right, now one twos or two one, whatever you want, but I want all power. One twos, two one, so we're continually moving but we're just changing up a little bit so we can put those, put the upper body to work a little harder. I want all power with these ones, guys. All power. Big rotation through the hip. Snap the jab with some energy. Rip that right hand through there. All power. Two one or one two, whatever you want. Come on, you gotta max out on this. All power. Three, two, one, let's go. Yep, come on guys. Let's go. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it has to be continuous. 
You have to want it. You want to finish this workout strong. That's what we're going to do here. Finish it strong. Hop. One, two, one, two, four punches. One, two, one, two, four punches. Come on, now you feel your legs are starting to kick in hard now. But you're still good. Hop, 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 hop. Pop, 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 pop. And move. Come on, guys. Almost there. You're feeling it. We got this. Come on. Nice work, guys. Now two ones to finish strong. Let's go. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. You know what we got to do here to finish strong. Dig into the heavy bag. Hold nothing back. This is it. Another killer session done. You'll remember this one for weeks. Two, one, two, one. Incredible work, guys. Thanks for training with me. As always, hit that sub button if you're not a subscriber already. And I will see you for the next killer workout. Thanks for watching. Much love. And uh, let's do this thing right in 2019. Peace. Thank you.